Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I will be revisiting the sub panel that I installed in a previous video. I will be writing a wrong and separating the ground and neutral that I had bonded incorrectly in this sub panel. And uh, in sub panels, you're not actually supposed to bond the ground and neutral. And I mean, since then, I have done my research, so I know when you should and should not, and I know why that's the case now, so I'll definitely not be making that mistake again. But anyway, let's open the panel and I'll show you what's going on. So here's the inside of the panel, and you can see there's a bus bar over here and two bus bars over there, and not counting the uh, live ones. So here's where the neutral connector comes in, and it goes to both of these sets of bus bars. And even though it didn't matter, for uh, consistency I put all the grounds over here, and I put all the neutrals over here with about one or two grounds over here just because. So, now you can see that th these two are clearly bonded and there doesn't appear to be a way to separate them. If there was, it would be an easy job because I've already put all the grounds over here. So, I'm left with uh, no ground bus bar. So I thought, well gee, that's kind of stupid. Do I have to go to Lowe's and buy an official Squirties bus bar? Well, that's what I did. An official uh, QO slash home line, although it doesn't matter. Bus bar for, uh, I guess, whatever purpose. And in this case, it will be a ground bus bar. See, there's several empty holes here that are, I presume, meant for putting bus bars in. After all, they didn't include one, so I guess they expect you to put one in anyway. I want to always remember, if you're going to do this sort of electrical work, turn off the electrical panel. So there I've gone and installed my ground bus bar and it's in there tight, not going anywhere. So now that's left, which is the main job, is to do the tedious work of moving all these grounds and a few of the grounds over here to that. So here's the final result. It is a bit messier in some spots than it was before, but it is still a pretty clean installation. I decided to move the ground bus bar up to this area right here because all the grounds going in here were cut to this length. So I had to kind of keep that in a similar area or else I'd have to extend all of them. And there were even still a few I did have to extend. Also this one, which was originally going in over here. And here's the main ground that comes from the main electrical panel, and it goes in here at the very bottom. And there's still plenty of room left for expansion, so anyway, let's just make sure nothing explodes. Alright, good. So, there you go. I have separated my neutrals and grounds, and I will definitely do that again in the future. Uh, this video by no means is really a a how-to guide that should be followed if you wish to carry out this sort of electrical work. It's so mostly I'm kind of just showing my experiences and doing electrical work and showing what I've learned. If you do wish to do something like this, uh, my, this video and my other video that I made on this sub-panel uh, may be helpful to you, but I recommend you also check some more credible sources. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, so thanks for watching.